5 p.m. Yes. yes, daylight is getting longer. I went into the morning meeting and that's all I had to say today. <laughs> and we love it. Sunset 5.01 until February 25th. We'll have to wait till we get past 6 p.m. But hey, it'll get a little bit longer every day tomorrow. 502. Down, down sky cam right now. You can see those pretty clouds. The sun is trying to peek on through. We had a lot of sun this morning, but those clouds have sure off rolled on in. 36 degrees, those west winds at 10. They're going to be about 8 to 12 through the afternoon, so a little bit more of a wind than what we had yesterday. Temperatures there hanging on to those 20s. Up to the north, we have 27 in Mason City, 28 Decorah. A little bit warmer, especially as you travel down to the southwest. 41 Council Bluffs, feeling pretty good. We'll be seeing uh, several areas in southern Iowa in those low 40s this afternoon. Here's a look at those winds again, generally about 8 to 12 through the afternoon, so not too bad, but enough to feel it, especially compared to yesterday. Pretty quiet in the upper Midwest, but we did have that uh, little bit of snow that panned off to the southeast. We can see a little bit of some reflectivities up in northern Iowa. Clarion just to the south of you is where we're seeing one of the strongest ones. So much of this that you see is kind of over dramatic. Much of this is not reaching the ground. We're not expecting any accumulations for anything that does. So through the afternoon, expect those clouds to hang on northern Iowa to see that snow cooling off this evening, and we're going to be noticeably cooler overnight temperatures becoming more more like you would expect in January. We've had a long break and the coming days. Tomorrow is going to be much the same. It's going to be partly cloudy. It will be dry, but then tomorrow evening temperatures are going to start to rise as we go through the overnight hours. So it's actually going to feel good better as you go through the overnight hours on Wednesday. By Thursday, the rain will impact mainly eastern Iowa through the afternoon, late morning hours, and then the snow. Yeah, we have a potential on Friday, so a little bit of everything. Taking a look at how this plays out now Tuesday. Tuesday by 4 p.m. You could see those uh, the snow showers continuing along that northern border, northeastern tier of counties, and that's about it. Most of us. We're just going to keep going about our day. We'll be pretty quiet overnight through today, tomorrow as well. Then take a look at Thursday morning. Those clouds are going to take hold first, and then we'll start to see that rain begin to bubble up in southern Iowa, move off to the northeast. It could clip Polk County and the metro area as it does. Now, eastern Iowa could see some rain towards the dinner hour, and then that moves off to the east. Friday. We're going to kind of do it again. We're going to start off. We'll be nice and dry, but then as we go through the afternoon, especially the evening hours on Friday, another system rolls on in. There is chance of seeing some snow impacting the metro area and off to the southeast, seeing some rain moving in closer to the Keokuk area. Now, hour by hour continues to show that snow moving in Friday night, clearing out by Saturday. More clouds in eastern Iowa as we go through Saturday afternoon. As far as rain on Thursday, not expecting much, less than a tenth of an inch. That snow could impact southeast Iowa two to four inches, less than an inch here in the metro, but no snow today. Just those increasing clouds with the mild temperatures. You can get outside and enjoy it. Tonight, those temperatures, they take a tumble. Single digits up to the north, teens here in central Iowa, but it is closer to average, 14. Let's keep in mind, this is January. Eight-day forecast shows those temperatures cooling down a little bit on, on uh, Wednesday, 37. A big bounce back by Thursday with those snow chances coming in towards the end of the day on Friday.